Today's video is on the problem related to the Tyler series expansion. So this topic is from complex power series. So now in this video we have to obtain Tyler series expansion of e power 1 plus z in the powers of z minus 1. So here, so in the solution, so what is f of z? So f of z is equal to, this is e power 1 plus z, clear? And here a value is nothing but, so a is equal to 1. So what is our Tyler series expansion? So according to the Tyler series expansion, we have Tyler series. According to the Tyler series, we have an expansion that f of z is equal to, so this is f of a plus z minus a into f dash of a plus z minus a whole square by 2 factorial into f double dash of a plus z minus a whole cube by 3 factorial into f triple dash of a plus and so on. So in this video, if I substitute f of z as e power, so this is e power 1 plus z is equal to what is a here? So this is 1. So in place of 1 as, in place of a as 1. So this will be f dash of 1 into z minus 1 whole square by 2 factorial into f double dash of 1 plus and so on. Now we need the values of, so which values you need? f of 1, f dash of 1, f double dash of 1 and f triple dash of 1 and so on. Now if I substitute all the values, then see what happens. So, what is f of z? So, f of z is equal to e power 1, e power 1 plus z. Now, I need f of 1. So, for f of 1, so e power, this is 1 plus 1, which is equal to e square. Now, we got the value of f of 1 as e square. Clear? f of 1 is equal to, the value here is e square. And next one, we need f dash of uh, 1. For that, we have to make a single derivative f dash of z is equal to so e power z is nothing but e power 1 plus z and therefore f dash of f dash of 1 is equal to again it is 1 plus 1 so clearly this is e square and we got f dash of 1 as see here again this is e square clear and next one f double dash so again you have to make a derivative with respect to z with respect to z so this is e power z is nothing but z with respect to z, z value is 1 and therefore f double dash of 1 is equal to e power 1 plus 1. So which is equal to e square and again we got f double dash of 1 value as e square. So clear this value is again e square and next we have to make the third derivative. So after making third derivative again e power z is nothing but e power z so this is e power z and therefore in place of z if i keep one this will be e power one plus one which is equal to e square and we got the value of f triple dash so this is f triple dash of one as this value is e square clear now so what is this uh, binomial theorem expansion so according to the binomial theorem expansion we have f of z value is equal to f of one so here a is equal to 1 into z minus 1 power f dash of 1 plus z minus 1 whole square by 2 factorial into f double dash of 1 plus this is z minus 1 whole cube by 3 factorial into f triple dash of 1 plus and so on. Now if I substitute all the values here. So if I substitute then see what is f of z here? f of z is nothing but e power 1 plus z. So what is f of 1? So f of 1 is e square, f of f dash of 1 is e square, f double dash of 1, everything is e square. So f of 1 is e square into this is z minus 1 into f dash of 1. So f dash of 1 again, f dash of 1 is again e square. So this is e square and z minus 1 whole square by 2 factorial into e square and this is z minus 1 whole cube by 3 factorial into e square plus and so on. So if I take e square common, see here, if I take e square, so this is e square, this is e square, this is e square, this is e square. If I take e square common from each and every term, so this will be 
e power 1 by z is equal to e square if i take common this will be 1 plus this is z minus 1 plus this value is a z minus 1 whole square by 2 factorial this is a z minus 1 whole cube by 3 factorial plus and so on so this can be written as so this is 1 plus z is equal to this is e square times of so this value is a sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity this value is a z minus 1 power 1 so this is 1 factorial by so this is also 1 2 3 so this value is n factorial so if you keep n is equal to 0 z minus 1 power 0 by 0 factorial this is the first term if you keep n is equal to 1 so you'll get this term if you keep n is equal to 2 z minus 1 square by 2 factorial and so on so this is the expansion using Taylor series expansion for e power 1 plus z can be written as e square times of sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity this is z minus 1 power n by this is n factorial so this is how we have to solve and see here this is so simple first of all we have to take f of z as e power 1 plus z and our a value is nothing but 1 according to the Taylor series this is the expansion in this Taylor series we have to keep f of z value as e power 1 by z and we have to calculate f of 1 f dash of 1 f double dash of 1 f triple dash of 1 so all these values are ready here and every value is e square so after substituting we have to take e square common and we have to write as sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity z minus 1 power n by n factorial see here so you can take a screenshot if you want the notes for it see here so this is the solution and clearly you can practice well and this is most important pass it on to your friends definitely i'll be posting so many problems related to Taylor series which are very important please practice and thank you so much for staying till the end